we know that there is a lot of evidence out there. Um, and our approach was to find a way to make this evidence fruitful also for all these stakeholder groups. The core knowledge base uh, really acts as a clearinghouse. It's a one-stop shop uh, where otherwise it'd be very difficult uh, for many uh, busy policymakers to find out what is the current state of evidence around particular issues or topics. Uh, we hope that uh, the core knowledge base, which has been carefully curated by researchers, uh, makes that accessible and makes it brings it uh, forward in a very useful way. At least in what we have seen so far in this uh, first year of core is uh, that um, uh, the stakeholders welcome uh, a platform such as core they they feel that um, having a, a knowledge base with information about how children are engaging with technologies that it's uh, updated uh, that it's that contains uh, good quality research is uh, is key um, uh, but they also want to see um, more uh, translation. Uh, they, they kind of feel that it's important that information is out there and that it's available, but it needs to come closer uh, to the people who will use it. The core knowledge base needs to be ready to present the kinds of knowledge and evidence that researchers have access to in the different formats and in the different ways to answer questions that stakeholders have. Uh, sometimes stakeholders come to us with um, questions about how to frame a topic, how to define and conceptualise. Sometimes they want to know the weight of evidence that is built up on a particular um, question to find the latest consensus. And sometimes they have very immediate questions about the particular problem that they're facing. And so we need to be able to kind of package our evidence um, and ideas to answer these different um, kinds of challenges they're facing. The bridging process between research on the one hand and stakeholders on the other hand uh, is not mixing up the two perspectives, but a better understanding of the two perspectives. We need to know the fundament um, of both sides. So the stakeholders need to have get an understanding of the methodological, ethical and theoretical uh, considerations of the researcher side. At the same time, the researchers have to better know the perspectives, the needs um, and the contextual constraints um, on the stakeholder side. And therefore, CORE is very much about communication between the two sides in order to improve the mutual understanding. The whole subject area of uh, children online and uh, ensuring uh, that uh, their, uh, their best interests uh, are maintained is very much a shared responsibility. It's something where uh, stakeholders uh, from across the spectrum need to work together. And for that, uh, we need to find common platforms uh, where that dialogue can take place, uh, where information can be shared, and uh, where the best available evidence uh, is made available to inform uh, effective debate and good solutions. I think one is key in core is that we are listening to, to all these different types of stakeholders and they are all bringing in so many different perspectives that it's, it's good to, um, to actually, for us, to, to understand what are the priorities of all these different stakeholders and we try to take that into consideration when we decide what goes actually into the platform when we decide what uh, needs to be uh, given more attention and what needs to be shared with other people who will finally make decisions that will impact young people and in their use of digital technologies. The core knowledge base brings together researchers, policymakers, practitioners of all kinds in a kind of a, a grand European conversation, which we are um, hosting through webinars, through blog posts, through social media, um, if we ever can again, through um, physical face-to-face -face events, uh, as a way of really uh, ensuring that the knowledge that we have in the research community is brought into dialogue and contestation with stakeholders. Uh, I think that one of the, an important contribution from CORE um, is um, the fact that it, through bringing evidence available, 
it can also help us have uh, a more realistic view of the actual impact of uh, digital technologies on children's lives. Um, children we talk to, uh, teachers also, they, they mention many times that parents are sometimes scared, that teachers are also scared of using technologies at schools and children themselves say that usually, even though there are sometimes risks associated to online technologies, there are many positive things that they do enjoy about them. So we hope that CORE would also help bring this uh, more balanced perspective and hopefully um, there will be also a yeah, public media interest and interest from all types of stakeholders to also bring this message together. So the internet is not just about risks, but there are also many, many opportunities and good things that uh, young people can experience through it. CORE needs uh, all of its uh, stakeholders uh, to join this conversation. Uh, so our call to action really is to sign up, uh, join the events, uh, be sure that you're on the mailing list and uh, contribute uh, to this uh, ongoing debate.